Life as we know right now, impossible on Mars. But what if Mars were more like Earth? The now former chief scientist at NASA, James Green, says it could be possible to terraform Mars, meaning make it livable for people, which of course conjures up scenes from The Martian when Matt Damon's character, a botanist, gets stuck on Mars and has to figure out how to survive. So I gotta make water and grow food on a planet where nothing grows. I am the greatest botanist on this planet. Joining us now to discuss is astrophysicist who, uh, an astrophysicist who worked with Green, Hakeem Olusheyi. Um, to be clear, Hakeem, what James Green is talking about here is using a magnetic shield so that it isn't so difficult for Matt Damon slash astronaut Mark Watney to grow potatoes on Mars. Explain how this would work. Yeah, so what Jim is doing here is solving a few of the problems associated with Mars. So one thing about planetary atmospheres, whether you're talking about Mars or the Earth, there is a balance in the atmosphere's mass. They lose mass, typically due to erosion from sunlight, but the atmospheres also gain mass. On Earth is from volcanoes, but it basically comes out of the ground. So you have a system where air is leaving and air is coming in. So what Jim proposes to do is to cut off the source of erosion. So what you can do is, between Mars and the sun, between any planet and the sun, there's a low point in the gravitational field that you can orbit that's directly in the line between them. So if you put a spacecraft there and you have a big magnetic field, then it can deflect that solar wind away from the planet and that way you stop the erosion. So once you stop the erosion, the atmosphere begins to gain mass and when the pressure of the gas increases, it becomes hotter. So he solves the problem of Mars being too cold, and he also solves the problem of getting rid of a lot of the radiation that reaches the surface. So, Professor, I'm a dreamer. I'm a dreamer. <laughs> I want to believe everything is possible. But what you're describing here is like a giant space shield, like a space visor. <laughs> like, like what, how, what kind of car, how big does a car have to be to have a visor that will block the sun from, you know, shining on Mars? Well, the devil's in the details because, yes. you know, what you're looking at is what we call the angular size. And so that means that as you move something farther away, the angular size becomes smaller. So here, there's a very specific location where this spacecraft has to be between Mars and the sun. So you have to do the calculation based on that location to determine how much deflection you're actually going to get. But it's like an umbrella for a planet. Like an umbrella for a, that is one big umbrella.